Supporting growth objectives above and beyond just meeting production quotas is relying on three core things. You've got your operating workforce and your maintenance workforce, but now there's maintenance reliability. So when you start with your operating workforce here, we have to educate them how to do simple maintenance related tasks focused on things like a drip lubricator, checking belt tension, or just observing that something isn't operating the way it typically should. Your maintenance workforce then is going to be focused not on just corrective maintenance, but predictive and preventative maintenance. That leads us to maintenance reliability. With maintenance reliability, we have operator asset care, we're looking at infant mortality, we're working on the equipment, and we're doing planning and scheduling well in advance, keeping that quota not only met, but getting the growth that we're trying to hit. Integrating the learning strategy into the business goals is paramount. In today's world, technology has allowed us to narrow the gap that anyone has access to all the same technology. But what's different is your people. A learning strategy focused on your people and developing them to maximize their output and the equipment and processes output is what's key. If you look at the National Association of Manufacturers or the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, there is tremendous data out there, just mountains of it, that will support the fact that almost 40% of that workforce in the maintenance world is departing in the next five years. Those learning strategies are critical to being able to go forward, not just surviving, but growing.